Thanks very much. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to be here chairing this conversation with Jack for a very moving and a very informative book. I would recommend you to all of you to buy it. But I'm, I'm here not just in my own capacity, I'm here representing English Pen. I'm the president of English Pen. And we're very pleased to be able to do this event with Amnesty. Um, <clears throat> that one of the reasons why somebody like Jack is imprisoned is to still his voice. So I think it's only appropriate that we start this evening with his voice and with a poem that he wrote. Well, thank you very much. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm overwhelmed. This is a very special day of my life. Um, and to be chaired by Chilean is very special indeed. Um, I'm going to read you a poem I wrote recently. When I was in prison, I couldn't write anything. I composed in the head. I composed, a, I remember, 25 poems. But after three and a half years, most of the poems were lost. I remembered only the titles. Now this title was the forgotten one. I remembered it in 2007 when I was reading in Vienna. Suddenly, the poem that I wrote in prison appeared to me and it was there before me. It was a poem I wrote about uh, the day after 22 months my wife and children visited me in prison. And my son, who was about five and a half then, um, asked the question, Daddy, why are you here? And I didn't answer. And then he said, are you here because you stole something from the university? <laughs> I said, my son, you know I don't steal. But he said, no, but my friends at school mock me. They say my dad has been arrested and put in prison because he's a thief. Swallows for my son at seven. <clears throat> when you pulled at my scruffy beard, son, boy and on my lap after 22 months of my abduction, then asked when daddy would come back home. It was the visitor's bench that squeaked before I could retort, not to worry, son, I'll be back home soon. And grinning, you yelled, oh, when? But I must confess, son, I merely wanted to seek the milk-white teeth on your beaming face again. <coughs> and when you asked, when you asked, did I truly steal from the university to be jailed as your mates at school mocked? And I said, nothing there worth stealing, son, and I don't steal anyway. I must admit, I hoped you would not notice the tears on your mom's and sister's cheeks on your first visit. But when you had to go after their 15 minutes, Stunned why prison guards viciously break the loaves of bread people bring. You should have seen my mate's rapture at what I lifted on their imaginary security crowns. And I must say, even I smiled at their post-mortem of your visit, son. It was only after their whimper about what I had nicked that I remembered I should have told you how swallows of Mozambique drift with the coastal winds each season to nest and bread and breed in a wing. And how we often fight when their chicks fall to ground, the condemned desiring to fry and crack their brittle bones to brighten their meal, the politicals wishing the chicks could just fly away free. Mm.